Hi folks, Benny K here. We're out for a hike today out to the bog. We're just going to go out, uh, do a little snowshoeing, and have a quick lunch and check out the old dam if we make it that far and uh, just have a good time. We'll see what's going on out here today. I have, it's been about a year since I've been out here, so uh, stay with me and, and we're just going to see what's what. So it's a nice brisk morning. Uh, almost lunchtime. Uh, it's about 15 degrees out, and I think we got enough for, uh, snow for our snowshoes. So uh, we're gonna see what's happening. Stay with me. some of the trail we keep moving right along snowshoes are working really good today we're not falling through and it's keeping us to have good traction so this is a beautiful day out it's broken off white birch Grab some of this material. There, got some pretty good material for starting a fire. All right, so I've been hiking for quite some time now, and I arrived where I want to at an old stone dam that's it's now breached, and it, it's for the Bog Brook. And it was quite a workout getting up through here. Not. Not too terribly bad, but I've broken out a little bit of a sweat, so I'm trying to dry out. Uh, we're gonna explore a little bit, and then we're gonna look for a place to make some lunch. So we're gonna, I'll bring you, if I see anything real cool, I'll bring you right back. Got the brook partially froze over. down through. I've tried paddling up this far before but I showed it in one of my earlier videos but it just got too impassable to make it up this far. But. Pretty neat water underneath flowing underneath the ice. And there's the old stone dam. I don't know when it was knocked out, but I imagine it was quite some time ago, probably better part, maybe 80 years or, or better, I bet. There's the other side. Okay, so I'm a little bit past the dam and I'm gonna go along and uh, I think I'm gonna make my lunch right here. Uh, we're gonna gather some wood up and and uh, this is just a absolutely lovely spot. Uh, we got views that I'll show them to you in a minute of, of a couple different peaks. And uh, you know, we're kind of bushwhacked off the trail some, so it's quite cold. I'm looking forward to getting a little fire. I gotta gather some wood first and uh, then we'll I'll bring you right back and uh, we'll get some food going. So, I'm in a black spruce 
uh, forest. Well, it's mainly black spruce and there's just abundance of like standing dead black spruce. And I got that piece right there and I knocked it right over to, I mean, bone dry. So it should produce me a good fire just for the time I'm out here. I got one more piece inside there that I knocked free too. And we're gonna use that. I didn't even have to go far. It was just hard getting it out because it's so thick. You can see how thick it is in there. But once I got it out and I'm out in the open here and that should work pretty good. So I cleared this little spot with my snowshoes. Got the snow down. So I end up with a puddle of water for my fire. Tried using my GoPro, but it's so cold out here. My battery's now dead. I had it in my pack. But anyhow, right, we're lit. We're gonna see if this takes. Hopefully I got enough wood here to keep things going for a little bit, get our meal cooked and warm up a little bit. It feels like it's cooling down. At least the wind's blowing pretty good too. So hopefully this fire works out. Okay, we'll be right back. So we get a nice little fire going here. I got a, a boil in a bag. It's some uh, flavored rice. And I got my Purcell grill, which is one of my go-to items. I absolutely love it. And uh, I'm just using these logs as my uh, to hold my for my grill support and hovering over my fire and I got the uh, the one cup from the uh, kit from Jason the Outdoor Wander from his 100 sub so this is the first time it's actually seen uh, live fire as opposed to the alcohol stove so we're using that because it's nice and big for the uh, for the boil in the bag uh, rice and I'm making some tea as well, so uh, the fire feels real good right now. Uh, took a little bit to get going. I used some fat wood I brought along as well. Even though you have dry stuff here, it's you're still playing around. It's, you know, you have to start small and, and work your way up. And the fat wood was just to, uh, really helped me out. So. Some uh, hilltops over there. We got Burke Mountain over that way through the trees. You, there's a little tower on top of it. It's a ski resort. And then we got another hilltop right there. I think that's uh, Victory Mountain. I, I'd have to double check. I, I can't re recollect, but anyhow. And we're right in the Bog Pond area. I'm starting to see bubbles, so won't be long, folks. So I got a new piece of kit, too, uh, I'm going to be using today. Uh, it's a Case Hobo. I got it for Christmas. We're going to give this, uh, this will be the first time we're using this. Today is also, it's got a nice little sheath attaches to my sides, a fork, knife, and spoon. And it's a Case Hobo. So we're almost done cooking. I've had some tea. Uh, it's real windy out now, so it's quite cold. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys go for a little bit and I'll be right back when, once my food's done and, and uh, we'll chat for a few more and, and then we're going to be out of here. Okay folks. Alright, I'm having ginger ginger lentil rice today. So this is my first time having that. It says boil sealed pouch in water for five minutes. It's been on for more than five minutes. So I'm gonna pop it back in there for a minute and uh, it should be done right off. All right. This is our First bite with the Case Hobo. And first time with this rice. Smokes in my eyes. 
Well, the case hobo is sweet. The rice is okay. The case hobo works awesome. I'm not really fond of it. We just dropped it. There. The rice is all right. Not bad. All right, folks, so we're all cleaned up here and uh, leave no trace. I'm running out of battery and memory card, so I want to thank